Good morning. I'm Charlie Herring. Alex Petty and I have been working on a special assignment. Course selection for next year is coming up in a couple of weeks and we want to make it as painless as possible. Let's check in with Alex now. Alex, where are you? Charlie, I'm on the move, out and about on the Clearfoss campus today to check out some of the electives on the course selection list. Let's start out with CTE, short for Career and Technical Education. Down the hall here, you'll find the Ag Department. You know you're there when you see little animals in the window. They're part of the small animal management class. If you're interested in becoming a florist, you might want to check out Principles Elements of Floral Design. In Floral Design, students will learn the proper techniques of flower arrangement along with many other things. Here are Junior Ashley Booms to tell you a little bit more about it. We have done like candy bouquets for Halloween and right now we're working on a thing for Valentine's Day and we're making like a big uh, conversation heart like kind of flower thing. Um, the class is really fun. We get to just learn how to make like different things. It's more of a girly class but guys can take it too. And we learn how to make bows and we learn like all the elements of like a flower design, like the different arrangements and everything. But for those of you that like to get your hands dirty, there's Ag Mechanics and Metal Tech. Current student Devin Coffey has some of the details. Now this class consists of like wood shop, metal shop, so we work with wood and we work with metal, but mainly metal most of the time. Well, so far my favorite project is the, uh, we did a welding project and we welded some stuff together and uh, I made a little like statue thing. Here are some more of the Ag classes available for the next school year. You can get your Hunter Certification in Wildlife, Fisheries, and Ecology Management. There's also Livestock Production and Equine Science. And if you're really interested in a career as a veterinarian or a vet assistant, as a junior and senior, you'll probably want to take vet med applications. And there's a new class in the area of agriculture that can serve as your fourth science credit. It's called Advanced Animal Science. The course number is 7021. Something to think about if you're interested in a career in this field and still need that for science. Rounding out the choices in agriculture are horticulture, landscape design, and turf management. Agriculture design and fabrication and practicum in agriculture where students work in either paid or unpaid internships. Now let's check back with Alex to find out what else he found out on his tour of the CTE classes in House 3. Charlie, right across the hall from the Ag classes you'll find Project Lead the Way, which are engineering classes. You'll have to see this for yourself. In Intro to Engineering Design, you'll learn what it takes to become a successful engineer using 3D computer technology. You'll solve design problems and create product models. Alan Dewberry filled us in with more info about Project Lead the Way. All right, so POE is basically about learning the different types of engineering, and we go over all of them so we know which one we'd want to do in the future. Right now, we're working on structural design, and we're building bridges, and we're using a computer simulation to test them. Um, my parents were engineers, and it was always something I thought would be really cool. So I'm testing out the Project Lead the Way courses, and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm Aiden Thirsk, and this is the Introduction to Engineering class. This is where we learn the basics of engineering so we can go on later into the other courses. In this class, it's a lot of computer editing. We go on the computer and make shapes and learn how to do different things, that, including like dimensioning and making shapes that will later help us out um, in other engineering courses or in future life if we plan on being engineers. Don't forget that you have to take Intro to Engineering Design as a prerequisite of Principles of Engineering. Also included in Project Lead the Way are digital electronics and engineering design and development. The impressive biotech lab is located next to engineering. Students from all over the district apply to come to Falls to take part in both our biotech and computer maintenance and networking programs. For those of you interested in the medical field, clinical sciences or forensics, then biotechnology is the course for you. In this class, you will use the latest technology to expand your knowledge in these fields. Here, Kelsey explains. I chose this class because it looked interesting and it looked like a fun elective to do and because like biotech too takes up a science for next year and it just seemed like something that would be fun to do. They do hands-on projects that will teach you things you can use in the bio field. So what project are you working on? We're making DNA models and learning how to like make a scale drawing of like the actual DNA. There you go, using the latest and greatest science technology to improve lives. The course number is 7961 for those interested. Charlie, back to you. 
Before Alex moves on, let me tell you about another new offering for the school year, Pharmacy Technician. This is a double blocked class that actually prepares you in high school to go to work in a pharmacy. If you work hard, at the end of the course you should be prepared to take and pass the certification exam and become a farm tech. Alex, I hear those are good paying jobs with good benefits. You can also prepare to be a physician through the other health science classes at Falls. Medical terminology is one semester class and will teach you the meaning of words like basophil and monocyte. If you're looking to go into the care field or be an HST1, then you'll definitely need to take medical terminology. Soon to be Dr. Destiny explains. We learn the different body parts and the, what doctors would call them. I'm going to get a better understanding of medical terms and words because I'm going to go to medical school and be a clinical psychiatrist. Students will learn up to 2,000 words and will use prefixes, suffixes, roots, and abbreviations to help them better understand the use of the words in the medical field. In this class, you will use very real techniques to enhance your understanding of these words. This course will help you secure a career in the health care world. This core number is 7510. Then there's Health Science 1, which gets you ready to do the rotations in the hospital during the Health Science 2. You are looking at a picture of the current Health Science 2 class, dressed in scrubs on their first day of rotations at UTMB Victory Lakes. Everyone knows you have to eat right to be healthy, so put down that bag of Cheetos. Nutrition and wellness is one class you can take to learn how to make a healthier choices. Does anybody have an apple? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. All this talk about food. Clear Falls actually has a kitchen lab where classes are taught. Here's a list of them. Careers in Culinary Arts and Hospitality is a one semester class like Nutrition and Wellness. And there's also Restaurant and Culinary Management. Have you ever wondered how those holes got in your Swiss cheese? If that's the kind of thing you're curious about, then you'll be happy to know that Food Science is a new class next year. And guess what? It can also serve as your fourth science credit. Are you overwhelmed with all the great choices? I am, and since I'm the anchor, that's what counts, right? So let's take a break, enjoy some music, and take a look at some of the other electives you'll find on the course selection sheet next year. I thought that would get your attention. Remember the Night of the Living Dead by our theater department? Stay tuned if you want to be their next victim. I mean, student. We will take a look at the fine arts electives a little later. Now back to Alex and CTE. Charlie, you know you can triple your typing speed and keyboarding, think and live like a millionaire if you take dollars and cents, learn to keep track of all those dollar bills and accounting. Also think about business marketing and finance, and then if you want to own your own business, there's entrepreneurship. Other business classes include Microsoft computer applications where you learn how to use PowerPoint, Word, Excel, and Publisher like a pro. A new class is yours for those of you who want to leave campus to go get a job where you can use these types of skills. It's called Career Prep, and you can see Ms. Anderson for more information and for an application. Good communication skills are key no matter what career field you're planning for. Charlie? That's right. Professional communications is a class that fulfills the speech credit here at Falls. It's more than just getting in front of people and talking nowadays. Communication is changing right before our very eyes. With professional communications, you'll use awesome software and technology to get your message across in a very persuasive way. Ms. Smith also prepares students to be great communicators through DECA, 
In fact, this year, 65 students competed at the district competition, and 52 of them are advancing to state. Here's Ms. Smith to tell us about the marketing classes. A full year class that I teach is Principles of Business, Marketing, and Finance. In that class, um, that's kind of where I draw a lot of my DECA students from because it's a very general class. We cover a ton of topics. Uh, we design um, a lot of projects and uh, do a lot of presentations and get ready for DECA competitions. It's a good uh, place to start if you don't know what you want to do. Uh, one of the other classes that I teach is sports and entertainment marketing and that's where we take marketing concepts and apply them to the sports and entertainment industry uh, like college football teams, uh, pro football teams, basketball teams, the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Um, we're hoping to visit the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo this spring. Um, we're going to build some mock stadiums. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of fun because you can take concepts that you're not familiar with but apply them to things that you are familiar with and it makes it makes it a lot more interesting. Fashion marketing is a lot of fun because we do the same thing, take marketing concepts, apply them to the fashion industry and one of the big goals for that course next year is that we actually um, produce a fashion show for the school. Advertising and sales promotion Probably the most fun day in advertising and sales promotion is when we look at old Super Bowl ads. That's kind of um, the epitome of what advertising is all about when all of uh, these big name companies put all their money into advertising. Um, but we do a lot of uh, real specific marketing um, projects in there that deal with advertising, advertising campaigns and such. And let's see, the last class that I teach, Marketing Dynamics, is the biggie if you have to work. If you're going to work while you go to school, Marketing Dynamics is a class where you actually come to me for one period of, of the day and then you get one to two periods off um, to go to your work site. Have you ever noticed the honors sign and wondered, who does that? This is the home of night vision. Whether you want to be a news anchor, film director, or make music videos, Intro to AV provides a broad overview of knowledge and skills. You'll learn to edit and get certified with Final Cut Pro and use other programs like Adobe After Effects. Then in AV Production 1, producing Night Vision will be your job, just like Charlie and I do every week. We'll record our show on a virtual set using the High Def TriCaster. We'd love to add you to our team next year, right Charlie? Yeah, we could use some help around here. Moving on, there are some other creative computer classes at CFHS. Digital and Interactive Media, Graphic Design, and Computer Science. For those of you who are way above my head when it comes to computers, there's actually a computer class where you can get advanced placement credit. It's time for me and Alex to take another break while I grab a bottle of water. Lead counselor Ms. Urenga has some information you need to know about your transcript. A transcript is a cumulative record of all classes a student has attempted for high school credit. So that's classes here at Falls, maybe classes at Brook and Lake. It's also classes in their intermediate school, night school, virtual school, correspondence, everything the student's doing to earn their graduation requirements. When students get their transcript, they need to be sure that they check they received their personal transcript, that their information is current and correct. They should also check all the classes listed. Is that the class they took? Is that the right grade that matches their report card? They should check their class rank and GPA, and they need to let us know if there are any errors that need to be corrected. Students who feel that there's an error on their transcript should see their academic counselor. They can discuss the errors, and then we can report it to the registrar for correction. When students are reviewing their courses, remember that some courses are a half credit and some are a full year credit. Classes can average for a year, meaning if a student made a 65 one semester and a 75 a second semester in a year-long course, they can average for credit. Students should also pay attention to the fact that absences may deny them credit for a class that they passed, and they'll see that noted with an asterisk. They need to see their assistant principal if any credit has been denied. So when students review their transcript, it's important to remember that some classes are half credit, some are full year credit. And we do credit average, which means if a student earned a 65 the first semester and a 75 the second, they could average for a 70 for credit for the year. Students should also look for denied credit. They may have earned credit in the class by passing the exams, but not receive credit because of attendance. If any student has an asterisk indicating denied credit for attendance, they need to see their assistant principal. We're back now with Alex and the cutest students in the Education Village, the Camelot Kids. Do you like teaching little kids? 
Do you like working with others to give little ones important life skills? At Camelot Kids, they have tons of fun making lessons plans, reading books, and of course, learning the ABCs. Tabitha, <coughs> excuse me, Miss Tabitha says this class has given her an opportunity to learn in future teacher skills. You got to make all the lesson plans and then you got to make sure like the kids are going to be entertained with it because sometimes you get like all these lesson plans and then you don't have, uh, you have like 30 minutes left of class so you got to like read a bunch of books and they don't like that, they like to be entertained and they love to learn, they're really smart and they don't really complain a whole lot. That's right Miss Tabitha, so what's your favorite thing you've done this year? We got to go trick or treating with the kids and we have this one little girl who I'm like partnered up with and her name's Piper and she's really shy and she actually like started talking to people because like she was with me and we were trying to work on that with her and she was actually saying hi to like some of the teachers and thank you and it was really nice. What a way to brighten the kids future. To prepare yourself for the child guidance class where you'll teach the Camelot kids in the preschool program at Mossman, you can take child development and intro to education and training. New for next year is a class you may have heard called Ready, Set, Teach on other campuses. The official name of the class is Teacher Ed Training. It's a two-period class so that you can go over to Mossman Elementary and work in a classroom with your teacher as your mentor. See Miss Bacon for an application. That's a wrap for career and technical education. Alex also checked out some of the fine art classes. Charlie, let's start with Miss Hyatt and Miss Eponitis. Visual art classes that we uh, offer here at Clear Falls uh, begin with the entry level courses of Art 1, Advanced Art 1, and Pre-AP Painting 2. Uh, Ad Advanced Art 1 and Pre-AP Painting 2 are available to students that begin in the 8th grade with a portfolio submission and that portfolio is looked at by our AP students and our AP teachers from across the district. Those students come into us and go directly into those two classes, either Advanced Art 1 or Pre-AP Painting. The Art One courses are open to all students, and those that is a survey course, a survey course that lets you sample 2D and 3D media, um, painting, printmaking, drawing, um, also working with clay and working with sculpture. When you come into that Art One classroom, you get to try all those things, and then hopefully you will want to stay with us and go into a Level Two course. After painting and drawing in the second level, you can move on to an AP course. The AP courses that we offer are AP 2D and AP Drawing. Uh, Ms. Aponitis will be telling you about those 3D courses. I'm Ms. Aponitis and I teach in the Fine Art Department. I teach our 3D studio classes including sculpture, jewelry, and ceramics. Sculpture is a great class where we work with a lot of different materials. We learn how to carve stone, how to work with wood, how to work with clay, and a lot of other materials. Ceramics is all about clay. We learn how to throw on the wheel, how to build by hand, and lots of other cool techniques. And jewelry is all about working with small metals, and we learn how to make wearable pieces of art. I also teach AP Art History, which is a great class for kids that are AP interested, but they're not really interested in doing a lot of studio work. It does fulfill the fine art requirement for the state of Texas, but it's mostly a book-based class. Hearing Charlie and me talk won't do the fine arts department any real justice. You need to hear and see the magic that they make all the time here at CFHS. That's all we leave you with today. A look at their students' work and the classes that you can take if you want to go sign up for one of their classes. For Charlie and the rest of the Night Vision crew, I'm Alex Petty, and it's a great day to be a knight.